Hi everyone, my name is Elizabeth and I am a librarian at Western. Western Libraries and Learning Commons is made up of two buildings, uh, Wilson Library and Haggard Hall. I'm standing in front of Wilson right now. Wilson was the original library. It was built in 1927 and named after uh, Mabel Zell Wilson, our first librarian. Wilson was added onto twice, once in 1962 and again in 1972. Haggard Hall became part of the library in the late 90s and the Mann family Skybridge, which is actually right behind me right here, was added in 1998 to connect those two buildings. In addition to Wilson and Haggard, we have one off-site building on the south end of campus, the Archives Building. Together, Wilson Library and Haggard Hall make up the home of the Learning Commons, an interconnected web of resources, services, and programs located together for easy access and working together to create the best possible services for students. Zoe's Bookside Bagels, usually shortened to Zoe's, is the premier dining establishment of the library complex admittedly also the only one. They serve a variety of prepackaged snacks, meals, and beverages, as well as fresh bagels from the bagelry downtown, baked goods, coffee drinks, and sandwiches. Zoe's boasts a large dining area open to all, as well as book swap shelves for both recreational reading and course textbooks. The Tutoring Center offers free peer tutoring for math and science GUR classes. You can find our schedule on our website. It's updated every quarter with the exact times that we have tutors available and the subjects that you need. When you come into the Tutoring Center, you will sign in at a kiosk in the front, make yourself welcome at any of the tables that we have available. Um, we do have tables that are sort of listed by subjects. You can sit with other people that are working on the same thing as you, but really you can take any available open seat. And then when you're ready to have a tutor come over, you hold up a little sign that has your subject card on it, and a peer advisor tells the tutor to come over and help you with your question. Typically we offer help for just one question at a time, but you can stay in the tutoring center as long as you want and keep asking questions. Um, if you have anything that you're not sure about or you maybe need a little bit of guidance when you first come in, right behind the front desk we always have a very friendly peer advisor on staff available to guide you through it um, and they are more than happy to help. In addition to the drop-in tutoring services, the Tutoring Center also offers study groups for many math, chem, and physics courses. These are typically outside the tutoring center space, but are led by our tutors who work closely with the course instructors. Additionally, we offer 45 minute study skills appointments with our peer advisors. This is an opportunity to work one on one to create your own study plan or learn about specific study skills such as time management, note taking or test preparation. In addition to the help available from subject tutors and peer advisors, the tutoring center also has resources that students can access such as textbooks and solution manuals for the courses we tutor calculator rentals, and modeling kits for organic chemistry work. My favorite part about the tutoring center is the opportunity it provides to meet other students going over the same coursework. The space lets you find others to finish a homework assignment with or study with later on. We also know that not everyone works well in busy environments, so we created the tutoring center quiet space upstairs that still has support from the subject tutors, but just in a quieter area. In order to access the Tutoring Center services online, you just go to our website and on the bottom left hand corner, there's a blue button. When we're open, that blue button says chat with us. When you click on the button, that'll connect you directly via chat to one of our peer advisors who will ask you what subject you need help with and find an available tutor for you as soon as they're ready. The tutor and you can either talk by chat or you can move into a Zoom room where you can screen share, you can use a whiteboard function, you could talk or use video if you want to. Um, we have lots of different uh, modes that we can get you tutoring information and we're willing to work with you however helps you the best. We also have um, I, all of the links to other tutoring services that are found on campus if you need help with that. So feel free to stop by and ask us any questions that you might have.
Western Library's map collection houses over 75,000 maps, many depicting the Salish Sea, Pacific Northwest, and parts of Western and Northern Canada. The map collection also houses our microfilm collection, which you can use using our microfilm readers. One of the really cool items that we have in our collection is a laser-cut topographic map of the Salish Sea. While the space is available for students to use to study whenever the library is open, the map collection does have specific hours. Those hours are normally 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Monday through Friday. The Daylight Lounge is the library's popular reading and watching collection. Essentially, it's filled with the things you want to read and watch, not the things you have to. Books and movies are recommended by Western students, faculty, and staff. You can make a recommendation anytime using a simple form on the Daylight Lounge website. Most materials are pretty new, no more than one and a half years old, unless something old came back into style, like a book that was recently made into a movie. The space also has new, comfy furniture and big windows that let in the rare Pacific Northwest daylight, hence the name. This makes it a great place to study. One of the best things about the Daylight Lounge is that new items are added every quarter, so check back often to find a great new book or a newly released movie. Heritage Resources includes Special Collections, the Center for Pacific Northwest Studies, and University Archives and Records Management. Special Collections is located on the sixth floor of Wilson, and University Archives and the Center are located in the Goltz Murray Archives Building on South Campus. Together, these units collect historical and primary source material including rare books, manuscripts, correspondence, diaries, photographs, audiovisual recordings, oral histories, institutional records, and more, all of which are available for student use. These resources can be used to explore the historical and cultural contours of campus, the community, our region, and the world, revealing how things used to be, how they have changed, and how different generations and cultures have approached life and developed various worldviews. There's a lot of cool content from our collections currently available online through Western's Mabel platform, which you can access at mabel.ww.edu. We regularly host classes in partnership with Western faculty and provide support for student research projects, papers, and other assignments. Staff are eager to assist you and are available via phone, email, and various video conferencing platforms. Welcome to the Research and Writing Studio. We're an open study workspace that offers peer, free peer consulting. This also includes having a studio partner and our practicum team to work one-on-one -on -one more consistently. Studio assistants can help with any part of the research or writing process. If you have a question about how to read more efficiently, we have strategies. Something about your citation seem off, we have resources to share. And if you feel like your presentation could use an extra eye, we want to hear it. Studio assistants will scaffold strategies tailored to your learning styles to help you eventually add a new strategy or skill to your own toolbox. Once you enter our lovely blue and green space and pick your preferred table, chair, or seat, a studio assistant like me will grab a table tent and come to greet you. Your table tent will let us know if you're hard at work, taking a break, or if you have a question. My favorite part about working in the studio is how lively the team and space is. Students can be working in big groups on a group project or maybe using whiteboards to study for their upcoming bio exam. Or you can grab a table near the back and pop your headphones in and start working on that paper. All while studio assistants buzz around and chat with visitors. Plus, sometimes we have free chocolate or cookies on our table, and that's always a nice surprise. Welcome to the Research and Writing Studio. The Research and Writing Studio is right off the main circle of the Haggard Hall side of the Wilson Library. You'll find us right across from the SDC and on the other side of the circulation desk. Come in on in, 
First, you'll be greeted with our living room. Now, this is a quick little area. We've got all sorts of seating options where you can come and take a quick breather if you need to or have a consultation with any of our staff. But it's a little more relaxed, a little casual. It's our, it's our sitting space, our living room. You can also talk with our shift manager who's going to be right off the corner there at a nice tall table working with some of our other staff. And they can connect you to anyone you want in the library, give you all sorts of advice or work on you with work on anything you want with them. Uh, coming into our main space, our collaborative workspace environment, you'll find all sorts of modular tables, modular sitting, mobile modular whiteboards, some great views of Red Square, and uh, just all sorts of things to fit your research and writing needs. Our tables can fit together so that you can accommodate any size work group. Taking a quick turn around the bend there, you'll come to more workspace. Past that, you come to Haggard 210. Now, this is our workshop space where we do all sorts of you know, lectures and class interactions to teach you about research, writing, editing, all of those fun things will work with your class, but sometimes it's also just extra workspace with more fun whiteboards and, of course, our famous views of Red Square. That fountain, ah, delectable. Don't eat fountains, kids. Uh, around the bend there, you'll find our new studio suites. Now, these are Primo, VIP, very high class, but also available to any student. You just, a private place for you to have a consultation with one of our staff or just to work on if you really need a break from all that hustle and bustle and loudness of the everyday university. And some of our uh, pods, our pods are calm and, you know, a little bit out of the way and can allow you and maybe one other person to work in a more uh, private and quiet environment. Uh, come on by whenever you want. We're always open, except when we're not. Uh, and... You know, welcome to the Research and Writing Studio. We're happy to have you. There are several online services available through Western's libraries. The first service to mention can be found on the Research and Writing Studio's website. Near the top of the page, you will see a button that says Submit a Draft. Through here, you have the option of submitting questions or work that you would like to get feedback on. The types of drafts that you submit are fairly flexible. You can submit essays, inquiries about library functions, even research that you are working on. There is no limit on draft submissions, so feel free to send whatever you'd like. Once a draft is submitted, studio staff will then review it and respond. Draft responses are typically sent within 48 hours. Next to draft submissions, the studio also provides a chat service. Let's say you have a question on an assignment or a project, or you really just want to know if that one textbook that you need is available to check out. You can chat directly with studio staff to get the answers that you need. When on the studio website, take a look to the right. There's a tab titled Ask Us. Clicking this tab will connect you directly with an assistant on shift at that time. Chat is a great way to get your questions answered. One thing to keep in mind is that chat service is open during studio hours only. There are some other great resources and services available through the website. Near the top of the page, you should see some large tabs. One of them is labeled resources. Under this resource tab, you can find all sorts of strategies and resources to help guide you through research, reading, and writing. These are just a few online services that you can find through the studio website. And the coolest part about it is that they are constantly changing. Resources are always being added and the strategy library is growing. So feel free to check it out. You never know what you might find to help unlock your success. Hi, I'm one of the librarians that works at Western Libraries and I'm here to give you a little bit of information about something that we call the subject teams. The subject teams are teams of librarians that support faculty, staff, and students in the 65 plus departments and colleges at Western. We have three teams. We have a team that supports STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. We have a team that supports arts, humanities, and Fairhaven College. And we have a team that supports social sciences and professional degrees like nursing. So how might you interact with a subject librarian? The subject team librarians can assist you with a wide variety of questions, ranging from subject specific research questions to access to resources, among other things. This might include assisting you in locating subject specific data, research articles, and other types of information that you might need for your coursework and beyond. 
Many of us that are on the subject teams also work in the research and writing studio, so you might see us there. You might also see us facilitating library workshops for your courses. Feel free to get in touch with the teams directly, or you can go to the research and writing studio online or in person if you have questions. We look forward to seeing you soon. Now we're going to talk about the Student Technology Center, or the STC. The STC is one of the best places you can go if you need help with technology or software. There you can check out laptops, chargers, auxiliary cables, and many other technological resources. You can also get tech help with both hardware and software problems, and get access to video editing rooms and a VR suite, if you're so inclined. Another fantastic resource the STC offers are technology workshops on software like Adobe Creative Suite, Microsoft Office, and many others. You can find these offerings through their website, as well as by calling their main desk. Welcome to Circulation. Circulation does a lot of different things, but mostly this is where patrons come to check out materials. So if you find a book that you want to check out in our collections, what you're going to do is come to Circulation with your student ID card. A desk attendant will scan both the book and your card, and it's yours. If you have any fines from lost books or late books, you can pay those at Circulation. And let's say that as you're leaving the library, you realize you don't have your water bottle, or maybe something more important like your keys. You need to go back inside and check with Circulation because that's where our lost and found is. If you don't find your lost items in your study spot, odds are another patron has taken them to circulation and they're waiting for you at the lost and found. And if you find any items that don't appear to have an owner in the area, you should take them to circulation too. I'm gonna highlight a super cool service called the Digital Media Center that can assist you in creating some awesome media projects while you're here at Western. The Digital Media Center focuses on media instruction and production, and they're located in Haggard Hall 246, which is accessible through the library. They have a lot of different kinds of equipment, including a TV studio with a green screen, a cyclorama wall, control room, a lightning grid, and a virtual reality HTC Vive machine that you can experiment with. You can find more information about them on the ATUS website under Digital Media Center, including their contact information, reservation information, a video and photos that highlight some of the equipment that they offer. Definitely check them out. Whether you like to study in total silence, in a crowd, or surrounded by plants, you'll surely find the perfect space for you from our huge array of study space options. If you're working with a group, you can also check out a key to your own group study room from the circulation desk. If it's a busy time of the quarter, you can go online to reserve the room ahead of time and make sure you have a spot. If you're not finding the right space for your needs, try asking someone. Chances are we either have it somewhere or we might be able to create it for you. My two favorites are the Bayview Study Lounge and the Research and Writing Studio, and I switch between the two depending on what, whether I want to work with other people um, or if I want to be alone for a while and just look out at the sky to not lose track of what time of day it is. If you have questions, all you need to do is ask. There are multiple ways that you can get a hold of us and ask us. You can come to the info desks in both Wilson and Haggard. You can, uh, you can chat with us. You can even text us. You can even call us. One of the things I really want you to take away from all of this is when you get here, every single person that works in the library is here because of you. They want to see you succeed. You are why we are here and you are why we do our jobs.